This is the first time ever that a Speaker of the House has been stripped of the gavel, and it happened with the support of eight members of his own party. I leave the Speakership with a sense of pride, accomplishment, and yes, optimism. From the day I entered politics, my mission has always been to make tomorrow better than today. I fought for what I believe in, and I believe in this country of America. All right, well, right now, the search for a new Republican leader, it begins. McCarthy has already said that he will not throw his hat in the ring this time around. In fact, this morning, Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan became the first Republican to formally announce his speaker bid. Sources have confirmed to NBC News that Majority Leader Steve Scalise is also making phone calls to shore up support for himself. NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Serkin joins us now from Capitol Hill. Uh, Julie, this has been a, a sort of whirlwind 24 hours. We mentioned Congressman Steve Scalise and Jim Jordan, potential front runners, but tell us more about each of these candidates and really what the caucus members are looking for in their new speaker. And that's going to be the big question for the caucus to be able to coalesce around one speaker rather than those 15 ballots that we saw in the beginning of the year. And you're right, Jim Jordan, he currently chairs the Judiciary Committee. He's been tasked with leading the House Republican charge on those impeachment inquiries into President Biden. Uh, given his son Hunter Biden, they were exploring some of those uh, records that they had there calling witnesses, really being the forceful charge on this, which is something that a lot of the base, the Republican base, wants to see. This is also somebody that has the ear of former President Trump. They are close allies. Uh, he's often campaigned for the former president. He's endorsed him uh, this time around as well. When you look at Steve Scalise, he's somebody who's been a member of Republican leadership for quite some time now. You'll remember that he actually is now recovering uh, from cancer as well. He was shot a couple of years ago at a congressional baseball game and he is currently the top in leadership he's right he was right under the speaker McCarthy uh, he also before that was the whip the vote counter among Republicans so these are two uh, fixtures really in the Republican conference in the house it'll be interesting to see as support shores up which which way it will fall either for Jordan or for Scalise but certainly those two the front runners now Julie this obviously has never happened before walk us through what happens next in this process and what's the timeline how soon could we see someone put up for a full House vote. Well, even though the House technically adjourned until next Tuesday, we're seeing lawmakers walk around this building. They were meeting this morning, including with a Texas uh, GOP delegation that was here. Uh, so they are clearly working. We saw Speaker McCarthy as well. They are taking this time to huddle and really coalesce around one individual. As McCarthy has told them, he doesn't want to see that multiple rounds of ballots go again. Mm -hmm. Of course, McCarthy said he will not run. Uh, but when you look at the calendar and the timeline, on Tuesday when the full House returns, they will meet behind behind closed doors and sort of try and pick someone uh, without the press watching, without the cameras on, without uh, the House floor in full display. Then on Wednesday, the idea is they will be able to elect someone actually behind closed doors before going to the floor and having a full House vote on that person. And that, again, can happen as early as next Wednesday. All right. We'll be watching NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Serkin. Julie, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.